name evokes in me. That's what I see. Um, for me, I think I want to go into the symbolic, the symbolism. Okay. Um, so when you speak of black or African, yeah, yeah. it just speaks of a race that has a melanin, right? Yes. And then a race that has been, I mean, characterized by struggles. I mean, characterized by happiness. Oh, characterized by joy. Character, characterized by everything, everything. that, um, any. I, I mean, anyone goes through this, you yes. understand? Yes. And we are going through ours, yeah. whether positive or negative. So, first and foremost, our Africanness, we can never put it aside. We are no. we'll always be African. Yeah. We, wh- whether whether you like it or not, if you are born black, you are an African. Yes. You understand? You can't leave it anywhere. And how the society or how the world views you, you can't leave it anywhere. Even if you speak with the UK, you speak with the UK accent, you speak with the American accent, or you speak with the Ghanaian accent as we are, as we are speaking with, yeah. you still will be considered African. You understand? Yes. So, first and foremost, it symbolizes, I mean, the the toll of our fathers, the toll of our, the people that came before us, before the struggles us. they've been through, and the struggles we are also going through. And how I want to, I mean, see the race evolve yeah. into the, the greatness it will be and yeah. the greatest not the greatest that it has been in the past um the lip signifies the voice yeah. it signifies the mouth it signifies the volume it signifies the, the the emotions the heart beats the heart throb of the african yeah you understand we want to represent not just the mainstream media we want to represent we don't even want to represent the mainstream we want to represent the voice of the typical ghana boy with it Cross the street. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We want to represent the the the, the voice of the typical African girl where they where they go um school. Yes, you understand. We want to talk about things that are going on right here. Yeah, you understand. And how we also view other things. So it's yeah. not just centered on Africanity. It's centered on humanity. You understand? But it's through our lens. And yes. I think yes. bastards are just what we are. Yeah, when we, we remove. We, 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 yeah. we laugh about it. Yeah, you yeah. bastard. It's, it's just, yeah. That is the way that just, we think we are. We're, yeah. We're not bastards as we don't have fathers. Exactly. But we are, <laughs> um, we are bastards as we, I mean, we call each other that. Yeah. Are, so it's not. I mean, the insult of being a bastard, the, the, the comedy that it, it evokes, evokes yes, right? That's so what being a is. bastard. Yeah. So, I mean, when you put out, you put all of that together, it just symbolizes like the voice of the typical African, like, Speaking from our perspective, yes. you understand. Speaking from how we view the world, view the world you yeah. understand. Sometimes it might be biased, sometimes it might not, but it's just our opinions. Yeah. One thing I always say is that at the end of the day, no one isn't everyone is entitled to what he wants to feel. You we understand. This is how we feel. Yes, we agree to disagree. I'm, I mean, yeah. you understand. And the fact that we might share a sentiment on an issue doesn't mean. That that is our forever, our sentiment forever. We are still learning, we are yes. still going. There are things we need to talk about outside the podcast. And we, I mean, sometimes we even have some of these arguments or interaction conversations before the podcast just to make sure we, I mean, we are in the clear when it comes to the opinions we want to share with the world. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, this thing is going outside and people will hear it all over. And if we claim to be, I mean, the voices of the streets, you understand? Not just the cliche of saying that, but the real voice of the typical African boy in Ghana or in Nigeria or in Africa. We, if we claim to be that, we have to make sure we are representing what they are, what they will be saying on the streets. You understand? So always make sure. I mean, the facts are gotten right. If we are not sure about it, I will put a disclaimer before any opinion. I say that I'm not so strong on this opinion. This is how I feel at the moment. If I'm, I'm, I'm educated otherwise after the um, argument, I'll come in and accept that you, what I said the last time was wrong. And I think that's the beauty of humanity, the, yes. the ability of humans to evolve. And that's actually the beauty of what you are doing. What you are doing, yeah. we just want to um, say what we feel, what we are thinking. And then if you disagree with us, you can point it out. We will listen. Yeah. We can grow from there. We can also point things out to you. For yes. you to also listen, also grow from there. So that's the bit of what you are doing. That people can disagree yes. on a particular matter, yeah. but and but still have a conversation, because even people, even um, siblings in a house, even though they all love each other, they all they always even twins have different opinions. Sure. They always have different opinions, sure. even in the, uh, in political 
parties, even political spheres, every political party, even within the political party, people have different mm, views. Thoughts so, and so that is that's a bit of what we are doing. We are just saying what we think. Yeah. Sometimes the, the two of us will agree. Sometimes we will not agree. Yeah. And most of the time we don't agree. But I don't know. We understand where we are each coming from. Yeah. And if you want to grow, we just accept it and then we grow. Exactly. So that is a bit of what we are doing. Uh,